Hello there, and welcome, beautiful stars. Okay, so we're going to go into your reading now. Pisces, what is your overall um, energy in this connection with your person? Here's the Knight of Cups. The Princess or Page of Cups. Wow. Okay, this card wants to come out as well. And the Eight of Wands. So it looks like you guys are wanting to move things forward as quickly as possible here. A lot of you are very in love with this person um, or starting to fall in love with them. And uh, wow. Okay, so pretty much no blocks here on your end. Uh, this could be new love for some of you. Let's see what's going on over there for them. What's their energy in this connection with you, Pisces? King of Swords. The Chariot. So we have Libra and Cancer energy here on this side. And the Nine of Swords. Wow. Okay, so it looks like you are bound and determined to love this person through it all. Uh, with the King of Swords here, they have had a hard time opening up to you. And uh, it looks like they do want to move things forward with you as much as you want them to with this chariot here for them. Um, the thing that stops them is their own inner demons when it comes to love, emotional intimacy. I feel like this is the same person that's coming through that's been in a lot of Pisces readings for... Um, you know, a couple months or so now where they, um, I feel like they really deeply want love and, but they don't really know how to go about like acting in a romantic relationship. Um, it's something, it, they feel kind of alien when it comes to love. Like they, they've always been observing it and not really interacting with it, and, but it's like something they want. Um, Two of Cups is on the bottom of the deck here. So yeah, I feel like this is underneath it all. They are a lover. They they want this um, union with someone. Okay, so nothing in the way on your side right now, Pisces. You've been very listening, um, very, um, very understanding of this person, very much listening to them, um, trying to really take everything in and like understand them very deeply. Okay, what's the connecting energy between you two? The Five of Wands clarify this what's the struggle and the sun so some of you might have had a little bit of arguing or something going on but I feel like um, this connection is going to win out in the end because um, there's a very powerful connection between you two the sun is a huge card of huge energy so I feel like you guys both have so much light between you two that you can just overcome any struggles any obstacles so I'm feeling optimism over any obstacles between you two. If this maybe this wasn't an argument, this could just be um, whatever is keeping you two from, you know, coming together in a, a harmonious union. Okay, let's get some oracle cards. What about you for you, Pisces? I feel like you're really focused on maybe trying to heal this person, helping them get through these fears here, wanting to talk about it. I wanted to have a lot of conversations with them. And here's longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. So I feel like you desire this person maybe a lot more than you tell them. Um, this Oh, wow. Chem chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. So that just came off the top of the deck here. And for them, interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. We haven't had a lot of like third party stuff coming through Pisces reading lately. So um, for... for I feel for a few of you, this could be the case um, that maybe there's another relationship here or like a past relationship that is still like an interfering party. Um, and this could also mean like, I feel for most of you, it's like their own inner demons are the interference here. Um, you know, just things that have just made them feel like they're messed up and they're not made for, for love or something. Here's make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah, I do feel, again, that you guys are very determined to do what it takes to get through anything because I feel like you guys are, you know, like questing here for your holy grail of love. 
and here's let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. I feel like that could be part of this pro- person's problem as well. They've never asked for help from others or allowed others to help them, so it's hard for them to let you in as well. I do feel like they like the idea of it. It's just like foreign to them. I feel like there could be a lot of like um, badly aspected Uranus in their chart or something, you know, like um, weird Aquarius stuff um, because of just this feeling of alienation and like being an outsider, like feeling weird and different from everyone. And here's the rabbit. Wow, you want to be like so gentle with this person. You really want to understand them and take care of them. I feel like you're like, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. Um, yeah, because I don't feel a lot of you are, are afraid of being hurt by this person or this connection. You know, this is a very vulnerable animal. I feel like this is more just like how you want to treat this person and take care of them. And for them, wow, nice, we have the phoenix. This is a very um, powerful person who's been through a lot of um, SHIT. Um, wow. So uh, you, I feel like your energy is really helping them to start regenerating and rising again. So we have Scorpio energy here as well. Here's the fates, number 17. I had a feeling like the star or something was going to come out for you, Pisces. You have, you feel like it's a very fated connection. You feel like you guys are destined to be together. You have high hopes that this is going to work out. That's why you keep investing, making the effort in this connection. Okay, let's see. What about for them? Here's community, number eight. All right, it's like another Aquarius. Both of these are like Aquarius type cards. Um, maybe you guys have a lot of people surrounding this connection. They feel like a lot of eyes are on you guys or something. Um, they can be worried about a- approval of other people as well right now or just being more focused on um, like career and business right now than they are in this connection. And here is Yang. So I feel they could be really... Um, going after some kind of goal right now, or really, really focused on like business and career success. So some of them might be afraid, like maybe they're not giving enough attention to you and they're, they run the risk of losing you. Here's man holding a coin, number 43. And for them, we interesting, yin yang, number 22. So this person really feels like you are their other half. You you complete them. You're like what they've been missing. You're the energy they've been missing in their life. And it feels really good. Like it feels really delicious to them <laughs> being in your presence. Um, I feel like it's just like they don't even know why they're drawn to you. They just feel this magnetism in their soul. Okay, so for a man holding a coin, I feel like... Um, you're there to take care of this person. You don't care. Um, you don't care about their money status, their career status. You'd be. I feel like you just love this person's heart, and you'd be okay with just um, taking care of them. As you see, they're like a good person. Okay, let's see here. Let's get some more details. So, for Pisces, what are you thinking about this person, this connection? How are you viewing them? Oh, we got like three cards coming out all at once. All right. Eight of Wands again. Here's the Five of Pentacles. And the Eight of Swords. So some of you might feel like you can't talk to this person right now. Or you can't talk with them as much as you want to. Or you can't move things forward. Um, some of you might even be dealing... or I feel like this is you viewing them. You're understanding that um, they're they're just not having like the self-esteem or confidence right now to move things forward in this connection. So I feel like a lot of you are trying, trying your best not to push things and really just be as patient as possible. I feel a lot of you try to kind of like tiptoe around this person, uh, you know, without, I feel like you try your best not to be pushy at all, not to be like too big and bold with them. Okay. So what are they thinking about you Pisces? Here's the Two of Wands. Oh, here's the Lovers. This person does see you as part of their future or they see they need to make a decision very soon. 
or you know this they're they could see this connection maybe fading out of their life if they don't do take some more action here's the ten of pentacles oh the six of cups wow all right i do feel like this person has a lot of plans to make the choice to take the direction in their life that will lead to you that will lead to a long-term connection with you uh because they cannot um, they can never, they can't get you off their mind. They just can't forget you. This is like nostalgia and uh, maybe thinking back on like all the memories you have together. And so you feel like this person's home and maybe they've never felt home anywhere before. So yeah, if they know that this is the, the best route for them. I feel like there's very strong knowing here. Okay. You, they feel a completion with you like nowhere else. Okay, what are you feeling about them, Pisces? Here's the Nine of Pentacles. Here's the Page of Wands. And here's the Six of Swords. All right, so I feel a lot of you are working very hard on maintaining your independence and trying not to get too attached to this person, um, trying not to get too attached to like hearing from them, communicating with them too much. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of focus on you guys trying to come to a place of peace on your own and just trying to kind of like hold space for this person, for them to get through their demons and come towards you. So let's clarify this page of wands lovers I feel a lot of you hold back um, just how much you how strongly you feel for this person obviously there's a lot of strong feelings here with this knight of cups um, yeah you guys really have to hold yourself back a lot Jeez, there's so much forward movement here I think it's it is getting a little bit of um, it is getting a little bit frustrating. That's what this five of wands could be here is for as well. There's frustration on both sides. So for you, it's kind of like this romantic frustration of like, come on, this is who I want. This is what I want. And I feel like for your person, the frustration could be a lot of um, you know they're not, they're frustrated that they can't get over their obstacles and they're not where they want to be in life just yet. Um, but again, the sun outshines the obstacles and the frustration makes it worth it to endure. But yeah, Pisces, you're doing a really good job of um, just becoming the best version of yourself. So this is going to pay off for you, I feel. Okay, what are they feeling about you, Pisces? Ooh. We have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords on both sides. The Emperor. And the King of Wands. Wow, interesting. So I'm feeling like you bring a lot of peace to this person's soul with the Six of Swords being here. Um, the Emperor and the King of Wands. Yeah, this is more um, confirmation that this person is very business and career focused right now. I feel like they, just like you've become the best version of yourself or working on it, that is what they want to do. They want to mirror you. They want to be able to um, be proud of themselves and or be someone that you can be proud of. So I feel like there's a lot of focus on this right now. Um, I feel like this person wants to have the confidence to like really pursue you, really offer you something, really um, just offer you something very stable. Let's clarify the emperor. They know that you deserve a lot. Oh yeah, speaking of that, here's the Nine of Pentacles. This is like the pre-Empress card. So they're preparing themselves to become who they um, feel would be your match, would, would be worthy of you. It's pretty interesting. Okay. What are your intentions for them, Pisces? The Hanged Man? The Wheel of Fortune? Oh, a lot of surrender here. <laughs> it's a very pretty Wheel of Fortune card. I feel like a lot of you are just um, really trying to enjoy what you guys have right now. Just enjoying the moment. And here's the Two of Wands and trying to kind of plan for the future. Look toward the future. Uh, make, make, maybe make some preparations for the future for when this person is ready. Or when they do have the shift in their career. When they feel like, okay, now I'm ready to, to go after this with Pisces. So... Yeah, I feel a lot of you aren't sweating it and stressing it for the most part. 
just going to um, see how things play out. And again, I'm feeling like um, even though you want to take a lot of action and like push things forward, you're respecting your person and you are hanging back. All right, for them, intentions. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Hangman on both sides. Okay, so that could be why it feels like things aren't really getting off the ground, like both of you are holding back. And here's the King of Pentacles. And here's the Ten of Wands. All right, I do feel like this person does want to be someone who can commit and be solid for you. Um, again, working on their money, and this is a big burden on them right now. So I feel like when they feel so like less burdened by their career, getting where they want to be financially, then they are going to be ready to move this thing forward with you. So let's clarify this Ten of Wands. Here's the moon. This could be a lot of just like the inner darkness, the inner demons that are haunting this person rather than it's like a lot of um, outer stuff they're struggling with right now. Um, yeah, I do feel like this person does almost need some kind of like counseling or help. Not all of them, but some of them need a little bit of it. Just some extra healing from the past. They're still carrying so much from their past with them with this five of cups here. Um, let's see. But after they clear this burden, what is coming? What, what is, what are their intentions? Three of wands. Oh my God. I saw that card in my head. That is weird. Okay. So, um, and the ace of cups. This person definitely wants to move forward into the future with you and they just want to plan this whole bright new future with you and just have a like a new life with you, to new love. I feel like they don't intend to speak their love too much, but it's going to be there. You're going to feel it. You're very empathic. Pisces, you can feel it from them. You probably feel it from them now. And they make it very unclear sometimes because they, you know, they keep this king of swords exterior, emperor exterior going with you, but you could probably see right through it. Okay, so what are their main blocks and fears in this connection with you, Pisces? Here's the Three of Pentacles. Maybe you guys have some kind of working relationship right now and um, they're afraid of messing it up. Or if you do work together, like maybe you guys can't date or take something farther. Like the people around this connection make it more difficult. And here's the Six of Swords. This could be some kind of long distance thing. Or just they're needing to find more peace in their life first. Obviously with the Nine of Swords here, um, there is a lot that's haunting them around this connection. And here's Choices, number 46. Okay, yeah, with the, the with the two of wands coming up from them as well. So, um, yeah, th there's still a an uncertainty of which way to go or how to pave the way to make this work with you. Um, I feel like oh, this person is generally a loyal person, so they're very careful with when they pledge, when and how and to whom they pledge their loyalty. Okay, connecting energies. What are you both thinking about each other, Pisces? Here's the Knight of Pentacles. All right, both of you want to be like this um, solid fixture in one another's life. So I feel both of you see each other as someone who's going to be there for the long term. And what are you both feeling? Uh, you both see each other as someone you can generally rely on, which is awesome. What are you both feeling? Ooh, Ace of Cups. Okay, deep love on both sides from both of you. That's beautiful. I feel like you would like to express it more Pisces, but you don't as much as you would like to. Okay, let's see. Um, what might be coming for them in the next week or two? What might you expect from them? Here's Judgment. So they might be clearing some more of their past, maybe getting through some of these shadows, making some more peace with their past. Queen of Cups, maybe clearing the way to be able to show some more love to you, express more of their love to you. And here is the Emperor. Oh, this person's going to be starting to feel a little more empowered. Maybe um, leveling, leveling up a bit in their career with um, the help of your love and your support. 
And oh yeah, look at this, the magician. Speaking of feeling empowered, well, I feel like this is going to be a good couple weeks for your person in the world too. So they might be having some really good career success. Or just feeling more optimistic about their career, the future, the future with you. And I feel like this is going to help them to maybe open up a bit more to you. Or just to, they're just going to be in a better mood maybe. Alright, so let's get you some advice, Pisces. Wheel of Fortune. Alright, so I feel like you guys are on the right track. For many of you, this is a destined connection. You guys were powerfully meant to be in each other's lives to have this big impact on one another. So this could be saying like fate, the universe, yeah, the fates. Um, things are helping to align you two to come together, to get closer together, to work more together. Um, just keep doing the work on yourself, Pisces, which you seem to be doing since you have a pretty clean energy over here. Um, so just have faith that things will work out in your fa favor in your fortune. And what is it? Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> so, you know, keep taking bold action in your life towards your dreams. Pisces, you have a lot of dreams. Um, you are the dreamer. So, um, go after them for sure. Keep building your dreams. Okay, other advice. Oh my gosh, hold your vision. <laughs> Fixed moon. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, hold your vision for this relationship. Like, what does the happy ending or like that, yeah, the happy end result for you and this person, what does it look like? And hold that vision act like that vision is for real um and you know so live your daily life like that vision is for real um do what you can to bring it to fruition um and yeah for many of you you will uh be coming together with this person or you already are like with this person because this is a pretty good connection here um but for those of you who it doesn't work out with this person by you holding this vision someone else will be there to match you at that energy that you're preparing for but again, many of you, it will be with this person because I feel like you have you guys have invested a lot in each other, you know, really in each other's lives with this Knight of Pentacles here. Confidence is your key to success, new moon in Leo. So make sure you're working on your confidence as well. I feel like you guys could use a little bit more of that. There's a little bit of self-doubt here. Not too much, but some. So work on that. Okay, so let's get some messages from them. So what would they say to you, Pisces? What would they actually say to you? I wish I could be brave and tell you that I still love you and that I do want you in my life forever. Wow. I'm too stuck in my ego right now. I still have a lot to learn. I know that I'm disappointing you and that you want to talk, but I'm just not ready for this. And we will find each other again. I will always find you. It's beautiful. This card's coming out. Can't you see that I'm just crazy about you? Awesome. Okay. Um, this card just popped off the deck as well. My life may seem like I got it all figured out, but the truth is that it is one big mess. I feel so lost and I just don't know what to do. I regret lying to you. Or if they didn't outright lie, they regret not being able to open up and tell you the truth more. Um, huh, my life is not as together as it seems. Wow, it's so weird since um, we just had this card. My life may seem like I got it all put, put together. And I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, maybe they feel like you're just going to get more successful than them. You're going to take off. Your career is going to take off and leave them behind. Um, and here is I bury myself in work to forget you. That makes a lot of sense as well. Um, even if they're not really trying to forget you, they, they are very much trying to just buckle down in their career and go for it so they can have something to show for themselves. I see myself having kids with you or I see myself having a beautiful, beautiful future with you having some kind of family situation with you. Um, I've had very vivid dreams of you. That's so cool. So yeah, we said Pisces is the dreamer. So it's like they are dreaming too. They're having these beautiful visions of the future with you. Oh my gosh, I daydream about you. What the heck? <laughs> Here's all I ever wanted and needed is in you. I want more with you one day. And let's see, um, I desire you deeply and eternally. That's beautiful. 
and your beauty and grace captivates me how nice okay keep up the good work pisces um i also have you are always so sweet splitting off the deck i feel like it's just like they don't even know why they're drawn to you they just feel this magnetism in their soul okay so for a man holding a coin i feel like um you're there to take care of this person you don't care um you don't care about their money status their career status you'd be i feel like you just love this person's heart and you'd be okay with just um taking care of them as you see they're like a good person okay let's see here let's get some more details so for pisces what are you thinking about this person this connection how are you viewing them oh we got like three cards coming out all at once all right eight of wands again here's the five of pentacles and the eight of swords so some of you might feel like you can't talk to this person right now you can't talk with them as much as you want to you can't move things forward um some of you might even be dealing or i feel like this is you viewing them you're understanding that um they're they're just not having like the self-esteem or confidence right now to move things forward in this connection so I feel like a lot of you are trying trying your best not to push things and really just be as patient as possible. I feel a lot of you try to kind of like tiptoe around this person, uh, you know, without... I feel like you try your best not to be pushy at all, not to be like too big and bold with them. Okay, so what are they thinking about you, Pisces? Here's the Two of Wands. Oh, here's the lovers. This person does see you as part of their future or they see they need to make a decision very soon or, you know, this they they could see this connection maybe fading out of their life if they don't do take some more action. Here's the 10 of pentacles. Oh, the 6 of cups. Wow. All right, I do feel like this person has a lot of plans to make the choice to take the direction in their life that will lead to you that will lead to a long-term connection with you. Uh, because they cannot, um, they can never, they can't get you off their mind. They just can't forget you. This is like nostalgia and uh, maybe thinking back on like all the memories you have together. And so you feel like this person's home and maybe they've never felt home anywhere before. So yeah, if they know that this is the, the best route for them. I feel like there's very strong knowing here. Okay. You, they feel a completion with you like nowhere else. Okay, what are you feeling about them, Pisces? Here's the Nine of Pentacles. Here's the Page of Wands. And here's the Six of Swords. All right, so I feel a lot of you are working very hard on maintaining your independence and trying not to get too attached to this person. Um, trying not to get too attached to like hearing from them, communicating with them too much. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of focus on you guys trying to come to a place of peace on your own and just trying to kind of like hold space for this person, for them to get through their demons and come towards you. So let's clarify this page of wands. Lovers. I feel a lot of you hold back um, just how much you, how strongly you feel for this person. Obviously, there's a lot of strong feelings here with this Knight of Cups. Um, yeah, you guys really have to hold yourself back a lot. Jeez, there's so much forward movement here. I think it's get, it is getting a little bit of um, it is getting a little bit frustrating. That's what this five of wands could be here is for as well. There's frustration on both sides. So for you, it's kind of like this romantic frustration of like, come on, this is who I want. This is what I want. And I feel like for your person, the frustration could be a lot of, um, you know, they're not, they're frustrated that they can't get over their obstacles and they're not where they want to be in life just yet. Um, but again, the sun outshines the obstacles and the frustration makes it worth it to endure. But yeah, Pisces, you're doing a really good job of, um, just becoming the best version of yourself. So this is going to pay off for you. I feel, okay. What are they feeling about you? Pisces? Ooh. 
We have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords on both sides. The Emperor. And the King of Wands. Wow, interesting. So I'm feeling like you bring a lot of peace to this person's soul with the Six of Swords being here. Um, the Emperor and the King of Wands. Yeah, this is more um, confirmation that this person is very business and career focused right now. I feel like they, just like you've become the best version of yourself or working on it, that is what they want to do. They want to mirror you. They want to be able to um, be proud of themselves and or be someone that you can be proud of. So I feel like there's a lot of focus on this right now. Um, I feel like this person wants to have the confidence to like really pursue you, really offer you something, really um, just offer you something very stable. Let's clarify the emperor. They know that you deserve a lot. Oh yeah, speaking of that, here's the Nine of Pentacles. This is like the pre-Empress card. So they're preparing themselves to become who they um, feel would be your match, would, would be worthy of you. It's pretty interesting. Okay. What are your intentions for them, Pisces? The hangman? The Wheel of Fortune. Well, a lot of surrender here. <laughs> it's a very pretty Wheel of Fortune card. I feel like a lot of you are just um, really trying to enjoy what you guys have right now. Just enjoying the moment. And here's the Two of Wands. And trying to kind of plan for the future. Look toward the future. Uh, make, make Maybe make some preparations for the future for when this person is ready. Or when they do have the shift in their career. When they feel like, okay, now I'm ready to, to go after this with Pisces. So... Yeah, I feel a lot of you aren't sweating it and stressing it for the most part. Just going to um, see how things play out. And again, I'm feeling like um, even though you want to take a lot of action and like push things forward, you're respecting your person and you're hanging back. All right, for them, intentions. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Hangman on both sides. Okay, so that could be why it feels like things aren't really getting off the ground, like both of you are holding back. And here's the King of Pentacles. And here's the Ten of Wands. All right, I do feel like this person does want to be someone who can commit and be solid for you. Um, again, working on their money, and this is a big burden on them right now. So I feel like when they feel so like less burdened by their career getting where they want to be financially then they are going to be ready to move this thing forward with you so let's clarify this ten of wands here's the moon this could be a lot of just like the inner darkness the inner demons that are haunting this person rather than it's like a lot of um, outer stuff they're struggling with right now um yeah, I do feel like this person does almost need some kind of like counseling or help. Not all of them, but some of them need a little bit of it. Just some extra healing from the past. They're still carrying so much from their past with them with this five of cups here. Um, let's see. But after they clear this burden, what is coming? What what is what are their intentions? Three of Wands. Oh my god, I saw that card in my head. That is weird. Okay, so um and the Ace of Cups. This person definitely wants to move forward into the future with you and they just want to plan this whole bright new future with you and just have a like a new life with you, to new love. I feel like they don't intend to speak their love too much, but it's going to be there. You're going to feel it. You're very empathic, Pisces. You can feel it from them. You probably feel it from them now. And they make it very unclear sometimes because like you know they keep this king of swords exterior emperor exterior going with you, but you could probably see right through it. Okay, so what are their main blocks and fears in this connection with you, Pisces? Here's the Three of Pentacles. Maybe you guys have some kind of working relationship right now and um, they're afraid of messing it up. Or if you do work together, like maybe you guys can't date or take something farther. Like the people around this connection make it more difficult. And here's the Six of Swords. This could be some kind of long distance thing. Or just they're needing to find more peace in their life first. Obviously with the Nine of Swords here. Um, 
there is a lot that's haunting them around this connection. And here's choices, number 46. Okay, yeah, with the, the, with the Two of Wands coming up from them as well. So, um, yeah, th there's still a an uncertainty of which way to go or how to pave the way to make this work with you. Um, I feel like oh, this person is generally a loyal person, so they're very... 